Hello, it's me, Maya. Um, so you're bored during quarantine and you want something to do. So I compiled a list for you. Let's get into it. All right. So basically, all the activity, all the activities I have written down are under three categories: being productive, being creative, and being entertained. Productive and creative kind of go hand in hand. If you're being creative, you are being productive. And if you're being entertained, you're also kind of being productive. Slowly on, you're just keeping yourself entertained. Like, <laughs> what I mean is like, quarantine, if you're like self-isolated and you're and you're quarantined and you're bored, you kind of, your mental health is probably not doing as well as it usually is. So by being entertained or being productive or being creative, you're ultimately doing a good thing for yourself. And I applaud you. Okay, I'm done being cringy. Okay, I will start with my list. <laughs> okay, so for being productive, the first thing I have written down is to learn a new language. And I say that because I'm currently learning Spanish. And if you guys want to know how I'm doing that, because I'm taking it very seriously, I will make a, another video about it. I probably will, even if no one asks for it. But I digress. There are a ton of apps that can help you learn Spanish. But right now I am using Babbel because it um, is free for students right now due to quarantine. You could also use Mango. I just downloaded that today and they also have like a quarantine free 30 day, well, it expires June 30th. Um, and all their lessons are free depending on which language you want. Um, so yeah, but I, I won't spill all my secrets. You'll have to watch the language video for that. <laughs> But anyway, there are tons of YouTube videos about the language you probably want to learn. There are tons of apps. Just do a little bit of research if you want to learn something new um, and just stick to it. It'd be really cool if you come out of quarantine knowing a whole new language. Um, yeah. Um, the next thing I have is exercise. It is very important for all of us to get some exercise right now. I know you don't want to. Believe me. I did 10 lunges. I was out for four days. I literally couldn't walk. You think I'm joking. You think I'm joking. Ask my roommate. Ask my roommate. She's not here right now. But take my word for it. It Just take it easy. Maybe do some <laughs> yoga and then work your way up to something intense. Um, like hit training or interval high interval training um, but I digress there's tons of YouTube videos on exercise as well um, and side note an activity that you should not do during quarantine is eat and when I mean I don't mean like eat regularly like your three meals and maybe two snacks whatever you do I mean don't eat as a hobby it's don't don't do it I promise it's not don't don't do it. You're gonna feel bad about yourself. You're gonna feel guilty and it's just It's just a whole lot of pain that you just don't need if you feel if you're craving something and you feel hungry Just drink a glass of water. It might make you feel better 70% of the time. It makes me feel better. So Yeah, all right and um, Also for exercise since I don't really love exercise. Oh shocker um dance and yes, you could like dance like a wild chicken like no one's watching because no one is watching. But if you want to like dance, dance, like I don't, I don't know why I did this. Like I can't, <laughs> I mean like look up some, look up some like dance choreography of like people doing it and try to learn what they're doing or look up dance practices, um, look up your favorite songs and then look of choreography for that and then try to learn it. Um, you're getting exercise in and you're doing something fun that you might really like. So the next thing I have is learning how to like sew or learning how to code. They don't really go hand in hand, but 
um, I see them, I see people making clothes on YouTube and TikTok a lot, and I was just like, man, that's so cool, I wish I could do that. Um, I'm already learning how to code because it's a part of my major in college, but if it's not related to anything that you do, it's still pretty useful. Um, I say if you have any interest in it or you want to learn more about it, there are tons of people on YouTube um, teaching about code. So just give it a quick dabble. You might like it. <laughs> all right. Okay. And that's all for like being productive. Of course, there are many more things. That's just a few examples I could give you that came up to the top of my head. Being creative. So, um, this is more like expressing, like having an outlet for how you feel. Um, uh, painting. I made this painting. It it is raining in an umbrella. It signifies my depression. I wish I was joking. Oh, okay. I digress. But like painting is a really good outlet. But if you don't have any paints, just pick up a pencil and paper and start drawing. That's also really good. There are tons of drawing tutorials on YouTube. I'm gonna reference YouTube a lot because YouTube is amazing. But whatever. Um, also, you could, um, you don't have to like physically make anything. You could like make YouTube videos or make TikToks. TikTok is super popular. I'm on TikTok. They're terrible because I cannot be funny on command. But it's okay. I'm having fun and that's all I care about. Also, something that came to mind that makes me, makes my heart real happy. Make playlists like on Spotify like just go on a deep dive on Spotify and just find random music and just make a playlist making playlists are so therapeutic especially when like if you play it like in order and like all the songs kind of just mesh together with your mood there's like mm, you know no does no one maybe Maybe I just love music a little too much. Music is just like like breathing for me. It's it's just something I need. I listen to music maybe three hours a day. At least. At least. At very least. If I haven't listened to music in a day, I, it wasn't a good day. It just wasn't. It really wasn't. Um, and the last thing I have for like being creative is like writing a short story or write, or trying to write a book or trying to make a fanfic um just yeah if you have like a story or like a daydream that's stuck in your head try writing it down um you never know uh 50 shades of gray was a fanfic and it turned into a movie i'm pretty sure whoever wrote that is making bank right now um you can try to write a children's book and put it on a website and try and sell it that'd be pretty cool or just like Express yourself creatively, creatively with like uh, writing in a pro poem, like writing a poem or writing in your journal. You can keep it private if you'd like. It doesn't matter. Just express yourself. <laughs> okay, and for entertainment, Netflix. Now everyone's like, "Oh my God, I'm already tired of Netflix. I'm already bored of Netflix." But are you watching the right thing? Are you watching the right thing? I'm gonna recommend K dramas. I don't wanna hear it. I don't wanna hear I don't wanna hear someone call me Kribu. I don't wanna hear it. I don't wanna hear it. I don't wanna hear it. I don't wanna hear it at all. If you don't mind subtitles, watch international movies, watch international shows. It doesn't even have to be a K drama. It doesn't have to be Asian at all. Watch telenovelas. Telenovelas are addicting. They're crazy. They get crazy and I'm here for it. Don't limit yourself to only the English language or only the language you speak because that's just, it cuts you off from the rest of the world and you don't need that. Um, I will, um, first thing I would recommend, eat Taiwan class. If you want more recommendations, ask for a video because I could talk about K-dramas for like 15 minutes to an hour, but I digress. Um, the next thing I can recommend is Hulu. There's so many old cartoons on Hulu for some reason, and sh a ton of anime. Like, 
Ooh, start an anime. Yeah, like start watching animes if you're bored because animes are long as hell. Like Dragon Ball Z, One One Punch Man, Naruto, Naruto, and Dragon Ball Z, One Piece. Them shows long as hell. You the fuck. By the time you finish that show, you will be thirty seven. And if you already thirty seven, you gonna be eighty three. Does my math make sense? No, it does not. But you get the point. And that's a want that's on period. <laughs> you don't have to find me funny. I find me funny. And that's enough. <laughs> okay. The next thing is to binge watch uh, videos on YouTube. And you're probably already doing that right now. That's probably how you found this video. And thank you. Please like and subscribe. I would very much appreciate it. I promise I'm funny like... Sometimes. <sighs> okay. Um, and the last thing I have on my list are playing video games. I have one more thing to say after that, but playing video games. Epic Games g gives out two free games every two weeks. So I literally use the um, Opera, Opera, opera browser and it's like a video game browser so it always shows me new releases and new games i just when i see the title free i just click on it i download it and i just have a whole a whole list of games and they're not like all bad games they're like like subnautica like that's a banger like all these games and i recently just bought rocket league so i can play with my friends Man, it's addicting. If I didn't get, I get like video game motion sickness. I would play for hours on end if I didn't get that. Also, Minecraft, very addicting. Please play that. I can't play it because of motion sickness, but like, please play Minecraft. Addicting. Love it. Um, you could also like, if you don't, if you don't really like PC games and you have a console or you want to buy a console, I recommend like the Switch or PS4, um, Xbox 2, I don't really want a PS4, Xbox War, just please buy your preference, or if you already have it. Oh, also, if you don't have a console, or you don't want to play PC games, there's this thing called Air Console, and it has a ton of games, it's like an app on your phone, and then you cast it to, um, your computer, so, like, your, like, your phone's the remote control, and then I just hook up an HDMI cord to my TV and you can play by yourself or you can play with a friend. Um, you're probably going to play by yourself because it's quarantine, but Air Console, it's great. It's really fun with friends. So, And also they have this new feature where you guys can play remotely so you can all play together in your own space. That is pretty cool. Okay, the last thing I want to say if you're super bored, call up a friend or a relative that you haven't talked to in a while. You never know when, you never know what they might be going through. You never know what day might be their last. <laughs> um, I don't say that to bum anyone out. Just, just check on your friends. Just check on your family. Make sure they're doing okay. If you, if you're, and if you're housed with your family, try to try to get along. Don't lock yourself up because they annoy you. Try to see their perspective. They're doing their best. And if they're not, they're trying. And that's worth something. Anyway, that's all for me today. I love you. You look gorgeous. You look handsome. And I hope you have a wonderful day. Stay happy, stay healthy, and stay alive. That's all for me. Bye.